Um, the point of Digo is to basically annotate an article online with other people from our class, and, we, and if we like make comments on it, our fellow classmates can read them and or like add on and or reply to us. It's better than just um, annotating on a piece of paper because we can like build up our ideas with our other classmates instead of just like re writing down our own and basically getting nowhere. Um, it can help us to like come to a deeper understanding of what we're reading. For example. For example, um, I said like, what are these? Are these explaining the traits of people who practice satyagraha? Graha? But then a fellow classmate said that, like, it should not just be a re like a religion or a way of doing something. It should be a way of living, and that kind of made me think of like how you can use this dis as how you live rather than just like how you use it in a conflict or a way of using this in a, in a secluded event. Yeah. Exam like a thick comment on here would be like one that is not just like kind of asking a basic question. It's kind of it's kind of going deeper than just a basic question. It's like has more depth in this. You can't just like say yes or no to answer it. It takes a while to explain and come up with an actual answer to. And how have you used the information or the thinking on here later on in class? I've used this in a discussion. We just recently had yes, like on Friday, today's Tuesday, but um, it was again, it was with compassion versus violence, which is stronger, and when supporting that compassion is stronger, I thought back to this, and how you use this in a an argument or anything.